You can do a quick search and see that you generally get more home for your money in Westport than in Greenwich. But what are the trade-offs? Is one town a better fit for you? How much more home do you actually get? Let's take a look and find out. Hi, my name's Charlie Vinci. I'm a local realtor. My team and I specialize in helping buyers relocate to the area. Our relocation clients are often wondering if Westport's a good alternative to Greenwich, and this usually leads to a discussion about what matters to them. In other words, if you're going back to work to the city daily, you might want a shorter commute and Greenwich may be a better fit. But for my clients who are planning on working from home more often, the extra 20 minutes on the train from Westport probably isn't a big deal. More often than not, the main attraction to Westport for my clients is Staples High School in Westport, which often gets ranked as one of the best high schools in the state. We have more information about the schools in our buyer's guide, which you can find at the link on the screen. If you love the low taxes in Greenwich, you'll find Westport taxes to be slightly higher. However, I don't believe we've ever had a client who elected not to move to Westport because of this small difference. The crime ratings are very low in both towns compared to the state and country as a whole, and none of our clients have said that this was their reason to choose one town over the other either. One thing that may be a deciding factor for you is the vibe of the town. While both towns are similar in many ways, and we do our best to highlight each town in our neighborhood tours, we highly recommend that you visit each of them to see for yourself. When you decide to make the trip, we've created a self-guided tour in addition to the video tour to make this easier. You can find them at the link on the screen. Greenwich does have more amenities like parks, shopping, and golf courses if this is important to you. It also has better walkable areas like Old Greenwich and the downtown area that seem more fitting for our clients that want walkable areas. But I'm sure that Westport residents would argue that the waterfront shopping area is highly walkable and they'd be right. Compo Beach in Westport isn't too shabby either. Compared to Greenwich, you should expect to get a noticeably larger home with better finish details in Westport for the same money, with the difference being more obvious as your price point increases. What most people don't notice are that the lots are typically smaller and the housing stock newer in Westport. If you're looking for a cul-de-sac, your odds of finding a suitable home are better in Westport because the design of the town's road network leads to an abundance of dead-end roads. For our clients who are considering expanding their search beyond Greenwich, Westport is the most common choice. If you're thinking about moving to Connecticut's Gold Coast, I'd like to work with you. If you aren't ready to call us yet, head over to the links on the screen, grab one of those many guides, maps, and checklists that we've created for you. They will save you hundreds of hours of research and help you make a better decision for your family.